Hi friends, my name is Peter Blewett. I'll be reading a poem about a painting by Marion Roos. Roos's painting, Boat Landing 12, is based on a scene on the Pestigo River. Spring, the turtles have yet to crawl from their nests. And so folks gather each morning to check if the turtles have begun their migration. The turtles don't track the growth of the trees or dawdle to enjoy their time in the sun. They have a place to go and a journey that is perilous with many years to live if they are to come back and lay more eggs, bearing a new generation in the sand. The turtles track their destiny, unvarying their sight, unconfused about where they should go, unthinking of things that might stop or kill them. Summer, from Farm Dam Landing, off the Otter Creek, rafters shoot through Boulder Gardens Rapids, before facing several drops to reach Five Foot Falls and Joey's Hole, just before Horse Race and Five Curd Rapids, until the Peshtigo unwinds between banks of red maple, white birch, red oak, aspen, and red pine. When the river unwinds, rafters can relax and look up from the rapids, seeing for the first time water bugs and these trees along the banks, standing above or sometimes sinking in the Peshtigo's sandy soil. Fall. October's cool nights levy one last flame. Burning in the leaves of the Northwood sumacs and maples, a flame you can find at Boat Landing 12, long after the turtles and rafters have abandoned their warm claims. The Peshtigo is lower now, the snow melt long gone, and the creeks that fed this mighty river now dry. We've come to learn a new way of seeing, but what we see speaks of days gone by, of those we love who, like this year's turtles, have left their sandy nest to cross somewhere we cannot know. This beauty calls us to mourn for the year that has quickly passed, to brace ourselves for the dark, cold winter. Winter, one winter night we drove from the city to the dark skies of Boat Landing 12. We hoped that we would see meteors light the dark night sky. The night was cold and dark. Although we wrapped ourselves in winter clothes, thick winter jackets with scarves and thick gloves, we shivered as we strained our eyes to find light. There were moments where we were almost sure we saw meteors, not from where we were looking, but from some corner of our eyes, thinking that somehow we were missing what we were seeing. Sky gazing at night, looking for meteors, feeling that we missed some lessons on learning to see. We left Boat Landing 12. The night was dark, the air was cold, and so finally we left, headed to warmth, where we knew we would need no lessons to see. Thank you to Marion Roos, who painted Boat Landing 12, and to Woodland Pattern Book Center, a great home for poetry, arts, and music. Thank you.